Hello fellow humans and crustaceans, welcome to Ought to Play Some Ought. I'm here <laughs> with uh Squidgy 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 Gee! Hello! Squidgy Squidgy Gee Midgy. I'm in all orangey blocky goodness. Yeah, so this is a, a beta Minecraft style game. We we attempted a uh, a stream a while back, but Squidgy just uh, you know started very doing long all this. time ago yeah started doing all this thing and it was full of excitement it was we had, dev, we had the devs on we had uh, conflict no join us and everything like that it was it was fun but I still haven't taught Rob how to play this game yeah. so three months later that's what we're going to do so welcome to oh, I'm wait <laughs> what do we call it I I ought to play some ought you ought to play some ought it's a very good series name I like it dude yeah, I like it so. By the way, anyone that's watching on my channel, because I know there is a lot of people that come here for the ORT videos, go check out Rob's channel. It is in the description below. Oh, thanks. And if you're watching me on Rob's channel, come check me out. So. Yeah, do it. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is Rob, this is Beagle. This is, well, it's my home world. Like, I, I've kind of set myself up here. Oh, you haven't really, I don't. you just killed yourself. <laughs> yeah. Well done. <laughs> Come join me back at the capital. Um, so, yes. Oh, you're back already. Gee. Did you respawn there or did you respawn back? At I respawned elsewhere. Yeah. Okay. So, I will teach you uh, some stuff in a second. But basically, yeah, this is Vehicle. Now, I built this world in the world editor, which you get uh, if you buy the collector's edition on Steam, which I believe you have, Rob. Yeah. Uh, yes, probably. Oh. And I have some... I have some, yeah, that's all your blocks from before. I have some uh, tutorials up on YouTube as well, so if anyone here is interested in the world builder, you can go check them out. Uh, it's a very cool tool, but I built this this whole world in, in, in the world builder, and it's awesome. And uh, the that's capital as well. Awesome. Do you like these faces on the side of the capital building? Yeah, this like whole wall thing, it looks cool, man. They're creepy, yeah. Uh, I'm Creep gonna try that. Creepy? I don't know, they look creepy to me. <laughs> Come, come join me up here if you can. <laughs> oh, this is... Man, this is harder than a Minecraft parkour challenge. Oh, I've, I just realized I've had my, um... My hut off. There you go. Uh -oh. So, so yeah, so this is, this is vehicle. It's like a nicely mountainy world. Oh, this is as high as we can get. Okay. Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> I fell down a level. <laughs> um, so yeah, so basically... Uh, the first thing you want to gonna do when you get into Oort is a familiar assault, familiarize yourself with the grappling hook. Uh, so your little left click to uh, shoot somewhere. Yeah, I've already can, worked that one out. You can work that one out, <laughs> and you can shift to go down your grappling hook and space to go up your grappling hook. Oh, All that, yeah, I know that one. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, that's that some cool know. stuff. Um, the best thing you can do as well is if you're first first time into Oort, which you've already done, is respawn at the capital of the world that you're in. Because that's where you're going to find the most amount of people uh, that are playing. So, yeah, until we get um, mini-maps and, and stuff like that, that's the best thing you can do. But you've already done that, so you're at the capital right now of Vehicle. Yeah, uh, capital. Now, let's go on a journey. Let's go on an adventure. All I'm right. almost, I almost put myself there. Now, I have a, I have a pathway to... I've made like a little um, mountainy village somewhere, but I'm going to... Where's my pathway? The, I love the little cube just there it is. moving around. <laughs> so come, come follow me on my path. This path took me like... Probably about five hours to build because oh, it goes for, it goes for like two and a half k's I think or something like that. Oh wow! <laughs> so and we can see some really cool stuff. There's people build uh, castles on the way and What's stuff. This? It's amazing. I What's don't know. Someone's you? someone's built something. Okay. It looks almost like if you hung some rope there, it looks like someone could have hung themselves from it. So that's race to the not, finish. Not very nice. Ah, oh, you're gonna beat me. You're gonna beat me. <laughs> <laughs> So then what you're going to want to do is, is not die. I not die. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to teach you some basics while we're running along the way. Wow, you're way far ahead. Okay, I'm going to have to... I might kill myself on the way accidentally. I'm on very low health. Hey, I caught up. <laughs> uh, so let's keep following this path. So basic controls are WASD for your directions. Uh, double tap W to sprint. Debug blocks. Yes, ignore them for now. <laughs> oh, so double tap W, I got that. Yeah. So that's like sprint. Uh, a fast way to travel uh, with grappling hook is just, and this is going to be fixed. This is just until they fix it. Uh, you can like press space and press forward with your grappling hook and travel really fast. Now, your mini map in the corner, if you want to change the size of that, you can press M. 
and it will zoom out. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, that's really far out. Yeah. So you can go really far out or really close in. I like the closest in. I love it. <laughs> um, what else can we teach you? Uh, for now, that's that's basically it. I mean, I'll teach you some stuff when we get to our destination. Uh, but yeah. Have like... you got any questions so far, Rob? Um, no, not quite. <laughs> um, I think, I don't know if we're going to move on to uh, crafting and, and stuff like that, but I suppose at the moment we're just on uh, movement and familiarizing ourselves with the, uh, the basics. Yeah, the basics. I mean, yeah, the crafting update should be coming out this month or within the month, hopefully, um, which will be really good to have on our channel. But for now, it's just basic building, and I'll show you how to do the slope blocks and all that kind of cool stuff. Um, but oh, yeah, so... I have to take out that tree. It was oh. sort of in the way. I almost fell down that hole. I took out a tree. Sorry. Nice. That's all right. <laughs> so what do you think of the, the game so far, Rob? Yeah, it's nice. It's pretty. It's got it's, that... It's, it's, it it's, it's, it's a It's a different kind of pretty. That I, that's what I like about it. It is. It is. The lighting in this game is my absolute favorite thing. Yeah. And like, even, even just the torches, they got that really... I don't know, sort of... Like cartoony pretty about it yeah you know? yeah and here's the thing here's the thing everything you're seeing in the game right now textures everything is all just placeholder later this month or hopefully within the month we should uh, have the texture update uh, which is gonna be all new textures everything is gonna look even more beautiful which is amazing oh wow look at this place is it is that a pirate ship yeah it's a ship I passed this on my way last last episode I think and it was yeah I think it's so cool Whoever builds this stuff, they're really, really clever. Like, I can't even build this stuff. Like... Yeah, <sighs> cool. What does that say on the side? It says something, I'm sure. Can you read it? Bagheera? It says... Bagheera? Bagheera. It must be the person that builds here. Ah, oh, okay. He's a very good builder. As you can see, he's got like this whole fort. That looks like a flag hanging down. It's really cool. Wait, where? Where is the flag? I don't know, that looked like a flag before, it doesn't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a nice little house going on here. So are we close yet? Oh, actually, I do have a question for you. Yeah. Other than the one I just asked. Yeah. How, is there a way we can replenish health? At the moment, no. There is health blocks that exist in the world, but I'm sure when crafting, the thing is when crafting comes out, you're going to be able to craft food, you're going to be able to have you know, animals and stuff. And back in a very, very old version of the game, there used to be pigs that dropped apples um, that I think you used to be able to replenish your health with. <laughs> did, you, did you have to take out the pig to enjoy the apple, or do they do they sort of just run past you and drop them? No, 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 you, you had to take out the pig, but this was before the game was even released to end users, and the pigs weren't... They were just like a, a placeholder, and so they're not in the game anymore. Uh, but I'm sure they will make a return in a better form when uh, the 3D modeler gets done with some modeling and, right. uh, you know, once once Creatures is funded, Creatures is probably the next thing that's going to be funded, I think, um, I would assume. So the way it works is it's like almost like a Kickstarter campaign, but instead of Kickstarter campaign being over 30 days, it's over like basically like imagine a year. So the more money they get, the more things that they can implement into the game. Yeah. Uh, so we've got things like player models and player species. So each species will have uh, different like perks and stuff. Like some will be able to see really well in the night time. Some will be able to breathe underwater, that kind of stuff. Yeah, some will be able to jump higher, move faster, that kind of thing. Um, so if you imagine a, a traditional MMO that has different, you know, different player types, you know, you've got yeah. your hunter, you've got your, yeah, all that kind of stuff, so, Fair enough. Uh, I've lost the path, where'd the path go? It, like, stops oh, there. no, we're here, that's why, we're here, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> so, I was, I still need to finish this, this was supposed to be, uh, one big ramp, but, now, my biggest question for you is, yeah, we've travelled some distance, right, yeah, and I'm in quite low health, what happens if I die, do I have to travel all that way again? You would, or when we get to our desk, don't die for just like, like literally 10 more seconds. <laughs> because we're going to set your home up with my home. Oh. So my, my home's just up here. Okay. So just don't die as much as you can. One thing I absolutely loved when I was walking there, I... I... 
just died, didn't you? You just died, didn't you? <laughs> Did you just die? Yes. back sorry about that guys uh, so Rob has uh, taken over me now I came to find him on the path and he's gone way past me but I just wanted to point out here and Rob's gone past it there's like an icy mountain which I like biome which I built in the world uh, editor and so that's like appeared here and it means that you can't really climb up it because the ice is so slippy you can't get up to the top without a grappling hook and it's really cool that's pretty cool yeah so just so basically with the world editor it like spawns where you set like temperature not to low, I can have my icy biome set to only spawn there. So when the game is further on in development, they'll have things like, you know, you'll need to warm up to be able to travel through cold temperatures. Does that make sense? So like yeah. survival. Yeah. So this biome would be pretty dangerous to, to be at if you weren't like, you know, warm yeah. and wearing clothes and armor and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, I just landed in water. That's probably going to make me cold. The hypothermia now. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. When 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 it comes, probably. Uh, all right, I'm gonna respawn back at home. Hang on. Respawn at home. Okay. Do you see I'm where I am? Oh yeah, yeah. you up here. Okay. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna press escape. Yeah. And you're gonna get set set home location. Yeah. So now whenever you die, you're gonna spawn back here. So all I'm right. gonna give me a second. Woo! Just kill yourself. There you are. Hello. <laughs> so, by the way, anyone else that's watching this, we are at the coordinates. Uh, where are we? It's 1510 by 132 by 1049. Now, please, no griefers. I'll be very upset. But, uh, yeah, feel free to come make your home up here in this little ancient city. That's what it's kind of supposed to be like. It's supposed to be like a city that once was awesome and is now redundant. Redundant, yeah. So you've got like bridges here. Uh, you've got like these little cool like ends of the bridges. I don't know. And see all this. See all the uh, the mossy uh, bricks, Rob, that yeah. are on the floor. Yeah. Most of these that you're looking at around are spawned by the world builder. So I've said this a few times in my episodes, but yeah. So basically, like in the world builder, I made it so that there was. It almost looked like there used to be old, old colonies live up here. The only thing that I've built are bridges and stuff like that. Right. So it's very, yeah, it's very, very cool in the way that you can do that. The, the so, world builder is powerful. So what are you doing with this bit here? Are you making it built around this bit of mountain here, or? So yes, the idea is that it's all joined up, and basically, uh, you would dig into the caves. Right so you would dig really into nice. a dig it, dig a cave out into the mountains. So you could set your home basically. See at the end of that that mountain there, you, you could walk straight from this bridge into your home, or there's even like naturally built out caves around. Um, so if you come down here with me, see me? I broke a block. Oh, that's <laughs> alright. Where have you gone? Wow. Okay. Yeah. 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 See, this is like a natural cave, so you could build your home here, and it'd be like you'd be living in the old ancient city of whatever this city is going to be called. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, yeah, the caves are really cool. I like the caves in this. You know what the city could be called? Hey, look, at this is awesome. You know what the city could be called? What could it be called? Veckel. That's the world. So, Veckel and Veckel. This yeah. could be the city of Veckel in the, in the world of Veckel. Yeah. Oh, wow, I really want to build my house in here. 
Yeah. Because I can exactly. jump into that water down there. And look, there's, there's another cave over there. I'm going to go explore that cave. You can have a second home over here. Okay. I don't know. So. Oh, wow. Uh. Oh, this is, this is cool. See, the, the game at the moment, <clears throat> the like, until we get some updates, the best thing you can do is, like, just build and explore. And I find exploring is a lot more fun than building at this point because we're limited in blocks that we can use. But yeah. exploring is just because because it's such a beautiful um, game. Exploring is awesome. All right, it's very fun. So they're obviously planning to upgrade um, to have upgrade of uh, uh, tools and stuff as well. Because it... yeah, yeah, yeah. When crafting comes, all that stuff will come. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is really cool. I found like this whole huge cave system in the mountains. Um, yeah, so when, when crafting update comes, you'll be able to do all that stuff. The other, another tip, Rob, and for anyone that's watching who's new to Oort, uh, if you press I on your yep. keyboard, any blocks that you have, so you press E to get into your inventory, same as uh, Minecraft and a yeah. lot of other games. So there's, you've got some blocks already there. But if you press I, you'll see that the numbers disappear. Yeah. That means basically unlimited blocks. Ah, oh, so that puts you sort of somewhat in a crafting mode. In a craft, yeah, in like a build, oh. like a... Yeah, creative mode. Almost. Creative mode, yeah. Yeah, but that will be gone, obviously. But it's a good tip for now if you're like wanting to build huge structures. Otherwise, you'd have to kind of keep killing yourself until and respawning with blocks. And yeah, it'd be very complicated. But it's a good little tip. Now I'm laying bricks. I don't know if you want bricks around here, though. Nah, bricks are ugly, dude. They're not ugly, but they're they're not um they're not like ancient. Yeah, they're not fitting. They're not ancient, so, yeah. so um, before I got before I went too crazy with bricks here, I better uh, get yeah. rid of those bad boys. Things like things like mossy brick looks so cool. Um, mossy cobblestone as well. I'll come break these, but firstly, I want to come see what you're checking out. Oh, it's just a really cool cave system up here. Like it goes pretty high, and apparently it goes down here as well. Oh wow! Oh, this is awesome. So, I mean, the idea of this world, when I built these mountains, is they're supposed to have caves that go from the top to the bottom. So that's how the old uh, colony, or creatures, or whatever used to live here, used to travel, the, like, their world, is they used to go from their homes in the mountains, down through the caves, to the ground. Is that water I see down there? It is, I believe so, yeah. I'm about to kill myself, I think. No, I'm not. I've got plenty of health. Oh, apparently I've already been down here. Or well, someone has. Yeah, this is cool. It is cool. I love the like the um the light that comes off you when you're holding a torch. Yeah, for sure. And there's if you find crystal blocks, the the light would change. Oh wow! Wow! Someone's already explored this. It could have been me. I don't know. But this like cave system <laughs> like breaks off into lots of little. You go one way, I'll go the other. I don't want to split up. But there's like so many ways we could go. Right, okay. See left, you going you're going left, I'm going down. Oh, that's it for the down. <laughs> Alright, well I got a cross path here cross path here. Ooh, okay, what's gonna, that? Uh, what is this? It. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. Uh axe. No, pickaxe. That's what I want. Found some new oh, wow. mineral here. Oh it'll be cool. Or... Can't wait until that um those textures get updated. Oh my god, it keeps going down. This is awesome. Oh wow, it splits off so much. I mean, oh. I shouldn't be surprised because I built this world with this in intention, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's still like really cool to see something that you've done in the world that it come to life. So yeah. we're probably on the ground now. I would say that we're Here's below water. ground. Here's yeah, water. we ma we managed to get all the way from the top of the mountains, like very high in the in the world, all the way down. All right, well, I can drown. Okay, so... Yeah, yeah, be careful. <laughs> I'm lost. Well, Ooh! Really cool. That's another update that I forgot about. You can place torches on walls now. You never used to be able to do that. I love it. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's basically a tour. Do you want to go to a different world? Check out a different world? Um, well, I suppose we can sort of uh, end it off there, because we got, we got most of the basics. We set a home, we got the movement, we got the getting used to grappling hook, 
We've got yeah. the inventory. We've uh, shown how to. Uh, at the moment, we got the change to creative. Yeah, and then I guess in the next episode we can go check out some other worlds and teach you how to slope blocks and stuff. Yeah. How does that sound? All right, cool. Well, I'll let you sign off, dude. Yeah, well, uh, thank you very much for watching, and thank you for having me, Squidgy. Give me a, a tour of all the basics. Absolute pleasure. So, I hope you join us again for the next episode of Ought to Play Some Ought. So, yeah, if you if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, and uh, go check out Squidgy's channel. He's an expert at this all this Jingo Jango, and uh, I'm just a newbie. <laughs> so, we'll see you all in the uh, next video. Bye well, for now. See you then. Bye. <laughs>